Hello guys, today our video is about the formation of ohms. My name is Ishan and I'm one of the creators of Rising Critics. Okay, formed. So for a long time, geoscientists have assumed that the ohms were formed when the Adriatic plate from the south collided with the Eurasian plate in the north. According to the textbooks, the Adriatic plate behaved like a bulldozer, thrusting rock material up in the front of into the piles that form mountains. So here, so here you can see the Eurasian plate. It's really big. Young mountain range versus old mountain range. Young mountain range, generally we, we distinguish two types of mountains according to their age. Young mountain range created several doses millions of years ago, and they have steep slope and high pointed peaks. The youngest mountain range are the highest in the world, like in the Himalayas massive in Asia. Old mountain range. By studying the strata of sediment and rock formation, they can compare their findings to the geologic time scale and produce data about absolute dating or specific time in which rocks and mountain range were formed. So, old mountain range have lower have um, like soft slopes don't are not high and and don't have that peaks but young, young mountain ridge are really high with big peaks so here there's an example of old mountain range erosion erosion is the action of surface processes such as water as flow or wind that remove soil rock or dissolved material from one location on the earth crust and then transports it to another location not to be confused with weathering which involves no movement so this is a clear um, site of erosion so, that there's room there's soil and the soil material removed and it has been brought to another location weathering weathering is breaking down or dissolving of rocks and minerals on Earth's surface. Once a rock has been broken down, a process called erosion that transports the bits of the rock and minerals away. Water, acid, salt, and, and plants and changes in the temperature are all agents of weathering and erosion. So first, the weathering breaks down the rocks. After that, erosion transports it to another place so that was how the formation of alps work i hope you like it like the video subscribe to rising critics and like the video bye